Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, October the 22nd, 2021, and this is episode 3,653. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna and the end of another week. So excited to be able to have shared with you this last week, and I'm so grateful of what God is teaching me in my experience over the last few weeks. Today's episode is titled, The Working in the Waiting. Stay tuned. The Working in the Waiting. Oh, listen, are you... Are you, do you like to wait? <laughs> I am not one who really enjoys waiting. And I will just be honest to tell you, I'm not a real good patient as well. <laughs> I just am so grateful for my wife and her encouragement. And uh, she's already messaged me this morning about taking a walk today. Those of you that know me know that I, I do Uber and Lyft driving, and I have not done it in three weeks since struggling with the COVID and and uh, working on recovery. And I'm so grateful and so thankful for uh, what God has done for me, for um, just an, any, any too, too many things to mention. But I have dear friends um, that I've been praying for right now. I'll just mention one. His name is Mark. The Lord knows who he is, uh, struggling with COVID and uh Um, But, you know, waiting, 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 it's such a challenging thing. You know, we want to be able to be back out. I I enjoy, I see my my Uber and Lyft driving as ministry opportunities to encourage and, and, uh, but waiting has really been tough. Now, I want to recommend to you um, uh, a devotional booklet uh, you can get a Kindle version for 99 cents, or you can get a paperback version for $6.99. It's Waiting on God by Andrew Murray. Andrew Murray wrote Waiting on God 124 years ago, and it's just such a powerful, powerful 31-day adventure into the heart of God, all about the challenges of waiting on God. Now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word wait, right? Like maybe uh, since COVID, it's uh, curbside pickup, Instacart, (laughs) you know, waiting, trying to get into a popular restaurant, maybe on a Friday night, uh, rush hour traffic, maybe important test results, right? Or maybe getting word back from your job interview. When we think of waiting, we often think of passivity. Waiting is practically synonymous with doing nothing besides just sitting here fidgeting with our phones and waiting, watching the clock. But when the Bible speaks of waiting, it's an entirely different thing than what we do after we take a number at the at the DMV, right? Biblical waiting is not a passive activity. It's demonstrated by an active dependence upon God and obedience to God. That's why I've titled this episode, The Working in the Waiting. Now, let me just share with you some things that I would encourage you to do while you're waiting. Acknowledge God's sovereign control of all things. You see, in order to get good at waiting, we first need to acknowledge that God is sovereign and nothing we are presenting, experiencing is outside of his eternal decree and direct oversight. Here's what the wise king said in Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Consider the work of God who can make straight what he has made crooked. In the day of prosperity, be joyful, and in the day of adversity, consider. God has made the one as well as the other so that man may not find out anything that will be after him. Yes, even our present predicament is of the Lord, 
we cannot straighten what God has made crooked. However, God will fix things in a much better way than we could never do. Second, coming to terms with our dependence upon God. Connected to the doctrine of God's sovereignty is so important. And our dependence upon him is so important. We want the freedom and independence to do whatever we want to do, when, where, and how we want to do it. But the truth is, we are all dependent upon God for our next heartbeat. Listen, as Job rightly confessed, it is the Lord who gives and the Lord who takes away. You are not on your own, for you are bought with a price. 1 Corinthians sixteen nineteen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. And then finally, seek spiritual strength from the Lord. Our helplessness becomes especially obvious during times of difficulty, right? In alone, in God alone, do we find the strength to deal with life's troubled waters. In the psalm, we find a repository of prayers to God. Many of them ask God for help. For example, uh, Psalm thirty-three twenty: our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Psalm 27, 14, wait for the Lord. Be strong. Let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. In Psalm thirty-one twenty-four, be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Listen, God wants us to be patient. He wants us to be quiet. He wants us to refrain from needless fear and worry. He wants us to learn from his word. And he wants us to expect him to do works that we could never even imagine. So let me encourage you today. God is working in the waiting that you're going through right now. He's been working in my waiting. And listen, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been challenging. But God is teaching me and strengthening me. Father, I pray today for those who are still in waiting times, Lord, waiting for a job interview, waiting for an answer to prayer, waiting for healing, waiting for recovery. I pray, Father, for your healing, your power. And Lord, I just I just mentioned Mark, Lord. You know who I'm talking about right now. And I pray, Father, for, for his sweet wife and for his daughter and son-in-law who's able to do their wedding for their grandchildren, Lord. I pray for healing and comfort and encouragement for all of that family. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it has been great to be back with you this week for Morning Manna. Pray that you have a great weekend till next Monday. This is Bruce reminding you. Yeah, right? Choose joy. Choose joy.